Hi guys, in this video we will try to draw a cylinder in AutoCAD 2007 using this command that is cylinder command which is there in the modeling toolbar very easily. There are four different basic types of questions which can come from this. These are the basic things. First one is draw a cylinder with some base radius and some axis which is resting with its base on horizontal plane. So base is resting on horizontal plane. Similarly base is resting on vertical plane. And it base is touching horizontal plane with some inclination to the horizontal plane as well as base is touching vertical plane with some inclination with the vertical plane. These are the four different types of questions, basic questions which can come in the uh, for drawing a cylinder thing. So let us see to draw in a horizontal plane base is resting on a horizontal plane and cylinder base is 30 mm and axis is 80 mm. We will try to draw it. Oh. So directly we can press on this cylinder. Uh, since it is a horizontal plane, we will select a top view. So top view is selected and cylinder is selected. And I am selecting, uh, what is it asking? It is asking specify center point. So I am selecting some center point and giving the radius which is 30 mm in this case. And then it is asking height which is 80 mm in this case. So 80 mm. So with this the diagram is finished. That is a cylinder is created. It's done within a fraction of minute. It is very easy. So you can see the front view. See front view it is like this. You can see the southwest, uh, southwest uh, isometric view. This is how it will look like. Or in the conceptual view it will be looking something like this like a cylinder. So this is with its base resting on horizontal plane. So similarly we can draw the second question also. That is with its base resting on vertical plane. So when we are talking about vertical plane we should take different view that is we should go with the front view instead of top view in the first case we have to go with the front view let us come to the wireframe model and i am selecting front view in the front view i am drawing this what is this uh, cylinder i am selecting it from this case and i am drawing a center point and drawing the 30 mm circle and then it is asking height specify height that is 80 in this case so 80 and so here the Second question is also finished here, which is of how much, which is uh, having base as 30 mm radius and axis as 80 mm, which is resting with its base on vertical plane. That is something like it is uh, attached to a wall, something like that. So, if you want, you can see in the southwest isometric view, it will be something like this. You can see in conceptual so that you will understand it easily. So, you can see here, this is something like standing on the floor and this is mounted to a wall that is how it will be looking like so this is with its base resting on horizontal plane and this is with its base uh, resting on the vertical plane so even for this also the dimensioning will be like same thing like we can go with the top view and then uh, we, we will go the wireframe model and here you can see for this i am giving dimensioning here we have circle therefore radial dimension i am taking and I am giving the radius dimension here. Then I am going to the front view. So this is the front view. In this I know the center to center information. So I am selecting center to center. So this is the center and this is the center. So that information is written here. Now uh, I am deleting it so that you will not get confused. So then uh, <clears throat> go to the southwest isometric view. You can see here the dimension has come a little far away. What can we do? We can do simply by selecting it and use move option. From here to the center point we can move so that the dimensioning is perfectly same. So you can see it here and this is the southwest isometric view. In the conceptual you can see it like this. So this is how the cylinder can be finished. This is one type of drawing the cylinder. Uh, these two questions can be solved in other way also. Simply I will do one thing. I will delete all this. We have another type of doing this thing also. That is go to the top view. So, you can use extrude option also. How means? So, first I will draw, select a circle and draw a circle with 30 mm radius like this. And then select extrude and I will select this object and press enter. And I will give the height as 80. In this case also the concept is same. See? When it is extruded, the base plate is extruded, then also you will get the same type of cylinder. That is base resting on horizontal plane with 30 mm base radius and uh, axis length is 80 mm. Same thing here in this uh, front view also. In the front view also, I can draw the circle like this with 30 mm radius 
and then use the extrude option this is the extrude option i'm selecting it and press enter uh, select the object i have selected the object and press enter and giving the dimension as 80 therefore the in the southwest isometric view, you can see that this thing this is base resting on horizontal plane and base vertical to her uh, base resting on vertical pen these are the two things which is finished so this is the second method of drawing so directly we can use the cylinder command which is there in the modeling toolbar or else what we can do we can go to the top view or front view and then we can uh, so this is one type of drawing this thing we can go uh, with the second method also that is uh, by using the extruding also so next uh, the question is when there is inclination with the horizontal plane and inclination with the vertical plane. Say we are drawing this diagram that is draw a cylinder of 35 mm radius and axis has 100 mm which is touching it. So let me say that it is totally on the horizontal plane then I will tilt it with 45 degrees. So first let me finish this diagram that is go to the top view and I will select a cylinder option and draw this with radius how much 35 mm. So 35 mm radius and axis is 100 mm so axis is 100 mm so this is the uh, southwest isometric view this is the view now there is another information that uh, the axis is inclined at 45 degrees to horizontal so come back here go to the top view can we see the axis here no right here somewhere the axis point will be there from midpoint to the midpoint of this uh, top circle and bottom circle which is a point so there we can't give the inclination so come to the front view in the front view this is the this particular center line is the axis right so select that axis and use rotate option use rotate option at this point what is the angle that he has asked 45 degrees so with 45 degrees i'll drive so here the 45 degrees tilting is finished so go to the isometric view so this is the cylinder which is having 35 mm radius and uh, as base and uh, axis m length is 100 mm and uh, there is an inclination of 45 degrees with the horizontal plane uh, for the axis so this is it you can see it in the conceptual also so this is how it will be looking like so this is for a uh, third question of uh, inclination with the horizontal plane. same thing happens with the vertical plane also like see you can draw this and we can tilt it with 30 degrees where the axis is visible to us so come back let me delete it i'll uh, go to the top view and uh, go to the wireframe and let me go to the front view first front view because here i'm thinking that the vertical plane it is touching no so let it totally be on the vertical plane 25 and 75 so select the cylinder and like this it is 25 and the height is 75 so therefore the cylinder is finished so here the cylinder is finished but what is he is saying that instead of uh, uh, st it is touching the vertical plane and it is having 30 degrees inclination with the vertical plane see here the inclination can be given in top view inclination can be given in top view not in the front view in the front view only point will be visible so come to the top view and select it and select it and rotate it at this point with how much angle it is 30 degrees i suppose yes 30 degrees so with 30 degrees i am rotating it so this is the 30 degrees inclination which can be seen so then give the uh, southwest isometric view so this is the inclined uh, cylinder which is touching the vertical plane and axis is inclined at 30 degrees to vertical plane you can see in the conceptual video something like this so this is how it will be looking like so these are the four different types of thing uh, cylinders which can be asked in uh, exams so it's pretty easy like it is a one step uh, type so we'll select the cylinder and then uh, simply whatever the software is asking we'll do it but we have to take care about which view we are selecting either top view or front view because that is what deals with the question right so if it is uh, related to horizontal plane we have to select a top view and draw if it is related to vertical plane we have to select front view and front view and draw so that is very much important for drawing this type of questions bye